All right, so today I wanted to talk about the difference between black powder and gunpowder. So they are quite different. Uh, you've got smokeless, um, I think this is imported military round, uh, or imperial military round, one or the other, but I, IMR. That's uh, gunpowder, smokeless powder, as you can see. And here we have the real coax black powder. Uh, you can use synthetic black powder, but I like real black powder better. Uh, um, synthetic stuff I don't bother using. I think it's uh, might might actually be a bit more expensive too. I haven't actually even looked into the prices. I just don't bother with it. Um, I've been advised against it, so I just never even went that route. So I've got some shell casings here just to show you that um, either one of these can be used for reloading. So this video is basically going to be more about how black powder is so kick-ass compared to regular gunpowder. Why? Because it's more versatile. You can use it for both. This you cannot put in a black powder rifle. You will blow your gun up. Basically becomes a pipe bomb and you will probably die. This works just fine in a black powder rifle. You can also use this in a regular rifle. So much better. I'm going to show the uh, the burning of it in, a, in just a minute. But to start off you got a shotgun round, you knock that primer out, that's that center thing, and you put a new primer in, and you can load up with black powder and put your shot in, a wad and all that, and it's good to go. Same goes for this, but you put new primer in, black powder, and a bullet. This, knock the primer out, new primer, black powder, and a bullet. You're good to go. You can also put that in your black powder gun. So as far as an SHTF, if you want to stock up on powder, get yourself some black powder. I don't recommend even bothering wasting your money on this shit. It's more expensive too. You're looking at $10 more for one of these than one of these. Um, so, that's another thing. If you're only reloading for a rifle and you want smokeless, then yeah, this is what you're going to go with, sure. But if you want something that's going to work for both, why not go for this? Uh, this is double FG. You might want to go with triple FG or single FG, depending on what you're shooting. If you're shooting a 50 cal, definitely go with double F. If you're shooting smaller, like 44 or whatnot, you could probably go with uh, single F. So, um, as far as the Fs go, I honestly cannot tell you. I'm just going off secondhand information and what works for me. So, um, that's that. But trust me, the black powder, you can use in both. So that's what I like about it. Now black powder is going to be a little bit more corrosive than this stuff, so there are some downsides to black powder, of course. But what I'm going to show you is how they burn. So we go for the stick powder. This is the military uh, rounds stick powder. We're not going to need very much at all because I'm just going to show you a demonstration. We'll put some of this into a rail. And I'll show you when I burn this what happens. See how that burned? Slow, but that's considered fast to some degree. So I'm going to try and match that amount with black powder. I should have used a grain measure so we know exactly, but this will be pretty close. Woo! <laughs> there you go. That was like a flash. Kaboof. Um, you got to be careful because you can burn yourself pretty good doing that. So there you go, that is the difference. Um, the black powder, it smells like eggs when it burns. Uh, this stuff burns a lot slower, not very much scent. So there you go, this is a slower burning powder, that's the faster burning powder. Black powder goes boom, like, almost like a flash. And the, um, the gun powder is more slow burning, kind of very controlled. But they both work just fine, and you'll probably get more boom with a black powder inside one of these charges anyway than you do with um, with your, your gunpowder. So uh, there you go, that's 
the best way to describe the difference between gunpowder and black powder. Um, I actually somewhat burnt myself with that. I just took a little piece of skin off right there with the black powder. So, like I said, it can be quite dangerous. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, there's the two different score marks. This one here was the gunpowder, stick powder. You can see it's sort of stuck to it. And the black powder spread out, almost danced around. So that's why I got burnt by it. A little piece landed on my uh, my finger right there and actually um, actually burnt me. Unlike the, the smokeless. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, they're both quite dangerous if you don't use them right. So you don't want to mess around with them. When you're packing, you don't want air blocks, especially with the black powder. You can end up... Um, like blowing out your barrel and things like that and if you were to put this slow burning powder inside your black powder rifle despite the difference this will actually blow your gun up this won't I've seen it actually do it I've seen the guy pack a black powder rifle with this stuff and he almost killed himself so it's quite dangerous <laughs> and uh, this shit even though this goes kaboom a lot faster it's considered well, I, I'm not going to say it's not dangerous. It's definitely dangerous. It's just, um, it's more controlled in black powder rifles, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But, um, but as you can see, the demo right there was quite a big difference. So I hope that uh, is informative for some of you. Um, I'm sure some of you already know this and are probably wondering why you fucking clicked on my video. But I appreciate it anyway. Thank you. <laughs>